Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. Be on the lookout for Kristen Aguirre as she is getting in shape this morning live from Q-Town CrossFit. Celebrating learning what it takes to be the fittest woman on earth. Kristen, how close are you? <laughs> 251, <laughs> 252. Oh, hey guys, just uh -huh. doing some pull ups. <laughs> oh, just need a little bit of help. We're live here at Q Town CrossFit and you're learning what it takes to get to the CrossFit Games, and they are celebrating a big anniversary. We'll tell you all about it coming up after the break. You're watching KHQA this morning. Well, Kristen Aguirre, she is out in Quincy this morning getting active and using a little help, I last saw. Yeah, quite a bit <laughs> of help I saw there, Aguirre. What's up with that? You know what, Chad? I challenge you to a pull-up contest. I bet I can beat you. Uh -oh. Bring it. Ooh, we can put that on Vine. Well, we are live here at Q-Town CrossFit this morning, and they are gearing up to celebrate their one-year anniversary. With me now is Katie Tappy, one of the Q-Town owners. So tell me a little bit about, for people who don't know anything about Q-Town, tell us a little bit about it. Um, Q-Town is a faith-based community that really brings people together to change their lifestyle. We focus on starting with an exercise plan, then we go into the lifestyle plan of replacing some foods with some better foods for you, and we're really looking at changing your overall life. So for people who don't know anything about CrossFit, what is it? Because I think some people look at it and they think weights and they're maybe a little bit intimidated about yeah. the whole thing. Um, so CrossFit's a community first and foremost. So you come in and you're very supported. Uh, we do strength training and in addition to that we also do metabolical conditioning or the workout of the day. Uh, everything is scaled so anyone can do CrossFit. You can see in our Today we have a wide variety of people in our classroom, our classroom in our uh, gym. <laughs> Can't <laughs> and, be a teacher, so <laughs> it's kind of like a classroom. We're learning absolutely different, rooms, different things. We treat it like a classroom, is it, and every single day you're here to learn something new. So it's also a coaching atmosphere. It's not a class where you may just come in and do the same thing every day. You're always getting coaching. You're always learning how to do something new. Well, q -Town has gone from working out into the park to this really big facility, and we're going to continue to learn all about their journey all morning. Now, for more information on the gym here, you can check out our website, connecttristates.com. And if you have any questions about CrossFit, make sure you tweet me out at Kristen Aguirre, and q -Town has a uh, handle as well. They are q -Town CrossFit. I, I have a question. Um, this pull-up thing yes. that you challenged me to, is um, is this overhand or underhand? <laughs> the right well, way. I, you could use any grip you want. It sounds like you're getting a little bit nervous, Chad. Are you nervous that these guns can take you down? Well, like literally Are as soon as I nervous? said that, I realized I hadn't worked out since April. Yeah, you're so maybe don't take bit. the challenge. So maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll challenge each other in the future. Uh-huh. Gotta get the motivation <laughs> first. Pumped up for one of the most fit women in town, Kristen? I sure am. Now we are learning all, everything about what it takes to be a Q-Town a CrossFit athlete. Now a lot has changed. They are gearing up to celebrate their one year anniversary. Now one of the things that changed is that you guys are implementing a new mobility class, right Katie? Yes, we're starting a strength and mobility class. Uh, we've had several clients come in. We always do an intro session with them and they really want to start CrossFit, but they just don't have the mobility or the strength to do so. So we've partnered with Dr. West Creek to Performance Sport and Spine in order to allow them to get ready for our CrossFit classes. Now, Dr. Creech, why is it so important for athletes to, before they take on the WOD or the workout of the day, to really have that mobility within their body? Well, it's it's just like any sport. I mean, you got to warm up. you got to have your joints ready. Uh, a lot of people, you know, have been sitting around, uh, you know, whether on their couch or at their job, and they just haven't uh, got the mobility to perform these movements. And uh, when Katie and Sam, you know, brought this to me, I was really excited because uh, it's a great way to get uh, more clients uh, for them into the gym and uh, make them safer. Now if people don't you know try to get mobile before they jump into workouts like this is that how injuries happen? Injuries can happen from uh, lack of mobility and lack of strength and uh, this class is going to uh, really prevent a lot of injuries and keep people healthy. All right, well, for more information on this class and Q-Town, don't forget, you can always check out our KHQA News at 5 and check out our website, connecttristates.com. Now, enough talking. Coming up next, I'm going to learn how to do a little bit of lifting. Yeah, I figured enough. that was coming yeah. at some point. Enough talking. Let's see some sweat. <laughs> Most fit woman in Quincy, Kristen. That is right. Look at these guns. They're getting bigger as I'm just <laughs> standing here. Well, we are live here at Q-Town CrossFit, and we're learning what it takes to be a CrossFit athlete. Now, something that goes hand-in-hand hand with CrossFit is Olympic lifting. Now, I know people may think that that's a little scary, and it's something only for Olympians to do, but Kelsey Taylor, the Olympic lifting coach here at Q-Town CrossFit, has something different to say about that. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, the Olympic lifts are for anybody. You know, we um, teach younger kids. We've got a 14-year-old soccer player all the way up to, um, you know, grandma having to pick up her kids every day. So um, Olympic lifting really translates to athletes and to everyday people, you know, learning to pick things up correctly and so forth. So. And we're talking a little bit about the movements. You know, it can go from anywhere from a mom picking up her child. Um, it's just going to make you a stronger person whole. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's a total, you know, we don't just work legs or arms. An Olympic movement works your whole body. So um, it's a total, total body workout. Now, you know a thing or two about Olympic lifting, right, Kelsey? Yeah, um, I was first exposed to the Olympic lifts as a hammer thrower for the University of Iowa women's track and field team. And then through that exposure, I um, now compete in Olympic weights. And you're also teaching your skills here at Q-Town CrossFit. So we're going to be learning what uh, Olympic lifts you're going to be teaching me. I'm teaching you the clean today. So it's one fluid motion from the floor to the shoulder. To the shoulder. All right. Well, we are going to dive into that coming up a little bit later in the show. I'm going to go ahead and get my Olympic lifting on. Mm -hmm. Chad, Ryan, you guys should be nervous when I get back. We're going to do that contest. I'm always nervous when you come back. <laughs> For, I'm going to get down and dirty now. I'm going to learn all about Olympic lifting from lifting coach here, Kelsey Taylor. So what are we going to be learning right now? Um, we're going to teach the clean today. Okay, so let's get started. What's the first thing we need to know? Um, the first thing is we're going to approach the bar. Um, bars going to be a little closer to our legs. Um, Christine here is going to squat down to about parallel. Notice she has a nice uh, flat back. We're not rounded. Shoulder is a little bit over the bar. And then she's going to move the bar in one fluid motion to her shoulders. And then notice when she catches, we still have that good flat back, hips are back, elbows are high, and then she's going to go ahead and stand up with it. Nice controlled core, elbows up, and that's the clean. Now, Christine makes this look very easy. She is a coach here at Q-Town, and she's also one of the competitive athletes. So I'm going to try to make it look as easy as her. So you direct me. Okay. So same thing, approach the bar, closer to your shins, close grip, nice flat back, good. And then one motion to the shoulders. Ah. Good. Huh. Okay, I'll try it one more time. One more. Good. Nice high elbows yeah. and good control. Chad, Ryan, you guys are going down. Look at these <laughs> guns. Now, not only are you guys teaching Olympic lifting here in the gym, you guys are also going out to the community and teaching lifting as well. Absolutely. Um, recently, we just started coaching some of the QHS uh, basketball team, wrestling team. We've got some soccer players. Um, Olympic lifting totally translates into, you know, what kids do on the court, on the field, whatever. Um, kids are transferring power from the floor into their, you know, specific um, athletic movement, cutting with a basketball, um, spiking with volleyball. So the Olympic lifting helps them better that movement because it's similar. Uh, physiological things. All right, well, so we learned about the strength part of CrossFit. Well, coming up next, we're going to learn a little bit about their WAD, which is the workout of the day. We're going to break a sweat even more. I don't know, maybe I should re rethink in this uh, challenge, the pull-up challenge. <laughs> pull up, pull Ooh, up we should do a clean that. challenge. No, I don't <laughs> gotcha? know about that. No. I don't know. We'll just <laughs> leave it all to Ryan over we'll, there. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll think about it. We'll discuss. In the Following Kristen out of Q-Town CrossFit mm -hmm. in Quincy. Have enough fun. Momentous time Ooh, Well, there. the 6 a.m. class is getting started right here at their workout of the day. Now, take a quick glance. I'm going to attempt to do this. I'm a little bit scared. Look how they're all sweating profusely. Now, Katie, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what the workouts entail? Um, so today's workout is an AMRAMP. So um, you're going to be going through as many rounds as possible. And it's 10 sit-ups, 10 kettlebell swings, and a 100-meter run for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And they're constantly varied. Sometimes the workouts are 5 minutes. Sometimes they're 20 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, today's movements involve a uh, kettlebell and an ab mat and a run, but sometimes they also involve barbells. And then we scale. So if you're not able to do something overhead, we scale the, the movement for you so that you can still do every workout every day. Now, a huge part of Q-Town and CrossFit in general is the, the group, the community you guys have together. Yeah, the community is incredibly encouraging. I would say the first three months of CrossFit, especially from my experience as being overweight when I started, is it's very challenging. But if you continue to have that person who's encouraging you to come back, as soon as you get through that first three months, you start to feel pretty good, you start to move better, and it's the people that brought me back to CrossFit. You're also a success story, right? Um, yeah, I guess I would be <laughs> considered a success story as well. And I can say that without the community of people, I would not have been successful. The workouts were incredibly difficult. Uh, my husband had to drive a half hour out of his way to pick me up and take me to the gym uh, because they were so challenging. But when I left, I felt amazing and my friends really supported me. 
All right, well, I'm going to get started on the workout of the day here. Now, you could check how check out how I do by checking out our YouTube and checking out KHQA, uh, connecttristates.com. We'll have more information on how you can take part in Q-Town CrossFit by checking out that website and coming up a little bit later in the show. I just need the motivation to do the sit-ups. <laughs> motivation, getting well, to I'm the gonna, gym. I'm going to get started right now. I need that motivation. You guys, give me something motivating. It's, mm. it's the music. Um, yeah, the music. Getting to the gym is the hardest part. Useless. I think, in my opinion. <laughs> Useless. I know, like I said, we're both needing that motivation. We're not good motivators either, I guess. Brian, 